Greetings everyone, here is Lodwig and this is a game One the Pacific Atmos Edition. This is my play by email match against Sagoon. He is a commander of the Allied Forces and for me the Empire of Japan. This is scenario 1 on game version 26B. And we arrived 15th February, so middle of the month. And I flip here undefended British base in North Burma. The British are retreating to India. Let them do this. This is now the rest the uh, unloading of my troops. So I have here still some more enemy coastal battery fires. Uh, but yeah, the heavy cruiser will normally tank them all. Still sweeping some mines in Bali Papan. Hope the port is soon open. was one hit on my cargo ship. But the ships are more or less empty, they are only unloading now supplies, so I, flew, I lose some supplies of course uh, in this case, but uh, mm, maybe 10 or 20, something like this. Less and less counter battery fire, and hopefully, end of the turn, the, the guns are silent. And here is also two of this uh, small uh, patrol craft. They engaging my my patrol craft. So this is a wolf's uh, mini guns. <clears throat> and at the end, uh, no one hit each other. <coughs> you can make a big uh, speech out of this in crossing T. I mean, yeah. But there's a lot of noise with no impact. No one can kill each other or won't kill each other. Not even trying. Well, I mean, they try to hit each other, but you can see this is all only noise. My carriers are detecting their own ships. Okay, so still no enemy convoy here in the South Sea. A lot of bad weather today. And a war in China. Chinese units are dying, so this is an indication for the last legs of this unit. And no allied aircraft to be seen here in China. For me, number one goal is normally escorting my troop transports, unloading troops, supplying the troops, and cover, cover, cover. 
So I waiting that the Dutch, British, Chinese Air Force attacking me and then I can react to them. And only my carrier division, my first carrier division is more or less on hunt for enemy ships. But so far there's not really much to kill. Only suppressing bond forces. Oh yeah, and more of this mini engagements. No shell more. Maybe everyone is out of shells. So, next battle of palming. Okay. Uh, today, uh, the Dutch, but also my own uh, AV is dropping roughly half. I take still down the fort, so there's no additional cover move for this uh, Dutch forces. And casualties are still nearly one to one, what is in my favor. So, maybe two more. Bombardments here in China is not really much effect, but it's spilling down the Chinese and consumes the supplies. Here the same. And the third, here are heavy guns, so I can really inflict here damage. And Abon, so there are two base forces. Uh, this is a Tenate base force, so Sargun transports this base force to Abon to increase uh, defense values here, but Against the full division, no chance. So I storm this island, and it's an island, so it's not connected to the main, to the other island, so cannot retreat. All Dutch forces are destroyed, but no aircraft on the ground. Unlucky. I was hoping for some damage. Aircraft cannot. Uh, maybe Sagun destroys the aircraft on the ground. Before, I don't know. Then uh, you don't get points for this, uh, but the Allies still losing the aircraft. If you destroy them, I think by themselves. Good, and this is uh, Kendari. Here, is the Dutch forces are retreating. Uh, ah, of course, there's an enemy base. Not every Dutch force gives up immediately. Pin down. Next attack on Surabaya. So, my divisions arrive, but of course, they cannot attack, so it's only the Navy Guard units attacking. And they're taking down the fort. and. I have already two to one, so even the navy guard normally could maybe maybe take next turn this base. Uh, I have the casualties, but no one disabled. But next turn for sure, so a wire will fall. Some dot bases, more dot bases. Tenate also counter battery fire from the Dutch in Palm Bang. So again, small steps forward for Japan. No crippling counter attack from the Allies so far. And uh, the next turn would be important to yeah to see um, how I take uh, Soabaya, how I will take uh, Palm Bang if it will. I mean, I guess the next turn I can take both bases. We will see. So next turn will be a very important turn. Again, hair losses are all operational. Uh, there was nothing to destroy on the ground, unluckily. And uh, I had one of these pilots getting killed. 
And you can see that the kill ratio aircraft is nearly one to one. Uh, not even know, but the Buffalo's one is still the number one getting destroyed. So, but uh, Kilroy more or less escaped with most of his uh, P-40. The Warhawks, only up to now 14 killed Warhawks, I think. Uh, so Sagu not really use them to fight with me. He holds them back. That's okay. Ship sunk, last turn. There was nothing. No. So no operational change here in China, no battle. I have to defeat or get rid of these two units to open the, here the smaller road. A unit is walking down also to take the air of this guy. But he's also coming direction Xi'an. So I split more or less my army here to fight and destroy this uh, red Chinese army and at the same time open here these two guys. Unluckily this regiment was really somehow pushed down from the road down. So I must first go back and then uh, help you out. That wouldn't be normally enough I think to kick this defeated Chinese unit but yeah. And I walk better way I mean I cannot change now or I would start again walking back. Uh, I'm already on the way nearly back on the road uh, because I was not sure how Sagun react here with his Chinese forces, or if he maybe try to go for Yenan directly and take it back or whatever. So I choose to go south east, and not uh, north east, not northwest. Anyway, so my tanks are on the way to Lenchao to test how strong this enemy. But here nine units, so this is maybe a little more. I also see that the uh, Sagun is moving here with his army. This is the bulk of this. I think this is the Xi'an army. So he's trying to cross uh, high mountains without a road. So I maybe have to react and bring here some troops to block this hex. Uh, yeah. But I don't know how long he's already walking. So maybe he have already uh, uh, crossed half the way. So I must maybe act a little faster. Anything else? No, do we really here in China? This base is only a base, but it's a good air base and it's on the rail. This is most important. So if you have damaged aircraft, you can always rail them around. So this is why I normally try to operate aircraft out of a base connected to rails that they will have always opportunity to call back damaged aircraft to a main base, in this case, uh, Rangoon. And the British are retreating, but still too strong for my Thai forces to attack. Anything else? Not really. Palm Bang hold out one more turn, but the fort is down, so maybe tomorrow. And my forces are still... Disruption is the point. If the disruption is over 20, I must maybe wait. I'm a little low on supplies here. So, let's see. I, I fear a base force with more supplies, maybe I unload them already, even under enemy fire. Or I wait one more turn, uh, that would be the base force to... Uh, if I take power bank, then I have immediately some air cover here, fighters to make cap. So I buy a similar, so my divisions arrived. So I can maybe strike with the divisions and Navy Guard is uh, uh, follow up. So that I can faster walk and cross here Java. I still hope that, in, that I need only two weeks to conquer all of Java. I have more troops coming, so I must uh, more or less uh, time taking so Abaya, take this base, take this base, take this base, rail all the heavy units and walk down in Batavia. At least Batavia won't take to end of the month. Most of the Dutch forces, I think, will be here on the mountains. It's uh, standard defense strategy for Java. It's similar like Clark Field and this is Bendoing is for Java the best spot to defend. Uh, but similar to Clark Field it's a uh, if you take Sorbaya and Batavia you have not you have everything what you need on Java. Bendoing is not even a port so you cannot bring in any supplies so it's but it's an airbase so you see. Ambon fall, Kendari fall, that is okay. Tenate is uh, secured. Menado is secured. So the only real base here left 
is the Marcasa. He has a one more Dutch base. He can operate. And plus, of course, here are two more Dutch air bases. Anything else? Not really. Not really. I have everywhere my submarines and my navy search, but I don't detect anything. And my carriers also detect only their own vessels, so nothing. All empty sea. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, maybe. The situation in Tokyo, I always check Tokyo and then I know already home islands. All looks fine, I have enough resources, I always keep the 1.7 million, oil, crude oil, nearly 1 million. Fuel is also nice, but supplies is still not going up. It's around 30,000 all the time. This is maybe I mean, still related to uh, engine. I still have here, uh, the research is all done. The gray one, they're making money and D. But all the yellows, so I have here one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, factories they always upgrading every turn so I need 9,000 supplies every turn to feed here the engine increase output and I have now well, uh, 250 260 and 330 mm, need four five six weeks more to get here the engine bonus out of all of them but this cost me 9,000 per day and uh, AND is also here, so if I get uh, one hit on uh, one of this AND, so increase, then it cost me also 1000 supplies. So I guess that I can maybe get five hits at least per turn, maybe even up to 10. So it cost me around up to 20,000 supplies here in Japan to level up this AND and uh, engine output. And this is more or less, I would say, all the supplies I produce in Japan. Because my overall output of uh, supplies is uh, 16,000, 26,000, like 28,000 supplies. And maybe out of this is maybe 20,000 in Japan, roughly speaking. So I don't really overproduce supplies in Japan. Means at the end, I'm not able to export any supplies to any location on the map uh, to help my uh, army units or air force and navy. But I produce enough supplies in China that I also don't need to ship any supplies to China because I invested a lot of upgrades in heavy industry early on. So I really only ship crude oil, oil and resources from China, Manchukuo to Japan, but I don't ship any supplies to China. No need for this. And yeah, good. Anything else? Not really. So far, no enemy submarines all around Japan, so I still ship a lot of stuff with minimum escort, or no escorts even, because this has the easy days, latest in April, I would say, or latest in July, if the Mark 14 starts from change from 10% to 30% efficiency or active explosion trigger chance, then Japan must be prepared. So. The first six months of 42, you can still easy going with Japan, with convoys, but not more in July. Good. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.